Assemblymember Berry. Thank you, Chair. I've been clear that we should only support short-term lettings in London when people who let their homes on a short-term basis follow the law. If people abide by the 90-day annual limit, then short-term lettings can make a positive contribution to our city, such as providing more options for visitors whilst helping Londoners earn a little extra money. But where homes are let out all year round on a short-term basis, long-term rented housing can be lost whilst neighbours feel the negative impact of a continual turnover of visitors. I was therefore very concerned by the BBC footage uh, that showed a number of platforms, including Hostmaker, encouraging hosts to break the 90-day rule. In light of this investigation, when Hostmaker's advert on the TfL network was brought to my attention in May, I immediately asked my Deputy Mayor for Housing to follow up with TfL. He spoke to TfL and TfL referred the recent advert to the Committee of Advertising Practice, who advised that the campaign may be in breach of the CAP code. My Deputy Mayor will be meeting with Hostmaker to discuss our serious concerns about their business practices. Until this meeting has taken place and the issues have been resolved, TfL has assured me there will be no further Hostmaker advertising on its network. This situation underlines the clear need for the regulation of short-term lettings in London to be strengthened and made more effective. The 90-day rule is near impossible for councils to enforce. That's why in April, I, along with Airbnb and London councils, wrote to the Secretary of State calling on the government to develop plans for a light-touch light registration system. Such a system would protect London's long-term rented homes by giving councils the tools they need to enforce the law. I was therefore disappointed to receive a response from the Minister for Housing and Homelessness last week. She did not accept the need for a registration system. Instead, she said, and I quote, we should see whether positive change could be delivered more quickly on a voluntary basis. We've tried, Chair, to encourage change on a voluntary basis for three years. The time has come to strengthen Council's ability to enforce the law. And so my Deputy Mayor will continue working with councils, willing members of the industry, and the all-party parliamentary group on the short let sector to push the government under the new Prime Minister about taking this idea forward. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, sticking to the topic of um, adverts, um, I'm interested you say it was brought to your attention in May, because I first asked you about this a year ago in June, um, then again in March this year, and I'm really I'm, I'm pleased that you've finally got the point um, about these adverts. There's been a strong campaign from Generation Rent. You've had a letter from Assemblymember Copley um, on top of these questions, and, and this is great. Um, but it seems to me like any kind of advert for these kinds of companies at all, not just Hostmaker, not just this particular message, um, would be offensive to your policies, even if it isn't being overtly offensive to tenants. So are you, are you saying you're strongly considering taking this whole category of adverts off the TfL network? What's, what's clear is that the, this particular company, Hostmaker, their adverts in the recent past were different to the adverts last year. And there's a period of time we had no adverts at all. And uh, these adverts are against, in my view, I'm not the expert, TfL policy. I, with, with respect, Mr. Matt, I mean, the recent ones say my, lo my long-term tenant is um, terrible, I think, was the, was the phrase. But last year, the ones I first complained to you about in June were saying essentially make 30% more money by using our platform, by kicking out your tenants. Well, it's, it's the sec whatever, whatever they say, it's the, the concept of switching to a permanent hostmaker type service yeah. is, is so what's wrong. I've not, I've not got the, the, the copies in front of me in relation to the proofs last year and this year. What I'm clear about is encouraging uh, hosts to break the law. Uh, mm. It's not something we can uh, condone or allowed to happen on the TfL network. And so, uh, as I said in my answer, uh, uh, I've instructed TfL um, not to, to TfL agreed not to have any more adverts from uh, Hostmaker. Uh, we'll see what, what's the resolution of the meeting between James Murray and uh, Hostmaker. I'm quite clear uh, that the combination of looking at the proof in the advert, um, the BBC footage demonstrates that these guys are encouraging uh, yeah. uh, host to break the law. They, 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 they clearly are. Okay, I'll keep monitoring that. Um, I think, while well, we've got a minute, um, this case does bring up a wider issue, I think, um, that we've seen repeatedly to do with advertising. Um, we've had a series of problems with adverts that have been targeted at Londoners and then stopped after they've caused outrage or harm. We've had issues with body discrimination, the high fat foods where you have policy now, oppressive regimes, advertising. So shouldn't we firstly be, be doing something to review and strengthen the advertising policy more generally? And secondly, shouldn't we be thinking about the justification as a whole for subjecting Londoners to so many 
corporate messages in their daily lives. Well, listen, Joe, I, I should hang around with Sean, Sean Moore because I'm always attacked for going too far the other way. Uh, uh, and you'll, you'll have heard... This is my job, so you'll, 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 you'll have heard it from little Boff, uh, uh, who represents a considerable lobby attacking me for interfering too much with the market. I think, mm. we've got, I think you're right. We've got a responsibility mm. uh, you know, as public servants but somebody who was responsible for a massive estate. And so you'll have seen in the last three years, we have changed radically uh, some of the things we do on the t estate. Have we always got it right? No. Yeah. Uh, I'm always willing to, to make progress uh, and, and make changes that make it better. And I'm always genuinely receptive to are ideas you, to improve it. Are you up it. for a proactive review of the advertising policy to try and anticipate some of these, these things S rather S than waiting for Send a member, Barry, you're scandal. out of time.